for checking out. The woman says, oh, he's just walking out. He didn't pay for that. I said, well, why are you stopping? She goes, oh, the governor. I swear to God, true story. On my mom's grave. The governor lowered the threshold. There's no, there's no, there's no accountability. There's no, I said, that's just not true. And she, I, she got, I said, we have the 10th toughest, $950, the 10th toughest in America. She doesn't even know what I was talking about. By the way, it's the 10th toughest in America. Don't look it up. No one gives a damn about right. that. And I said, it's just not true. There's still a stop. I said, well, we don't stop them because of the governor. And then she goes, she looks at me twice and then she freaks out. She calls everyone over, wants to take photos. I'm like, no, I'm not taking a photo. We're having a conversation. Where's your manager? How are you blaming the governor? And it was, you know, $380 later. And I was like, why am I spending $380? Everyone can walk the hell right out. All right, guys, so we got to talk about woke California Governor Gavin Newsom, who swears up and down that he's not running for president of the United States, even though he has been a part of the national conversation. He's been doing interviews bashing uh, Trump and Republicans and trying to be a cheerleader for the Democrat Party. Yeah. Biden's approval is his historically low. Why Everybody's, is that? Everybody, everybody, we're all, everybody's approval across the spectrum. You find exceptions to that. Look, it's been hard the, globally the last six, seven years. But again, America stands tall. We're the tent pole of the world economy. No peers economically. Again, a masterclass of delivering. The economy is booming, inflation is cooling. And of course, the economic strategies this president's put together were all things Republicans dreamt of, but never delivered. He's delivered. Who in their mind would want to run uh, when you have someone of such esteem as our incumbent president okay. of the United States with a record of accomplishments and a man of character, a man of decency. I'm old school. Talk about loyalty. I'll, I'll go to ends of the earth for this guy. I really would. Yeah, so snake oil salesman Newsom uh, is trying to sell a shit sandwich to the American people uh, with the Biden administration. It's truly amazing stuff, okay? The <laughs> guy literally does not have a soul, right? He really doesn't, okay? I don't know how you can come out here and to continue to cheerlead for the worst administration that we've had in probably American history. So with that being said, we got to talk about Gavin Newsom being confronted on his own state and the problems that are going on in his state uh, when he went into a retail store to, I guess, buy stuff, okay? And uh, he got a reality check from an employee after she blamed him for the shoplifting that was happening in the store right in front of Gavin Newsom's face and he really did not like that in fact he responded to it in the most pettiest way possible and i want to talk about it but before we get into it we have to have a word from the sponsor of this video nightwatch pro the most useful and popular gadget that you can get this new year is undoubtedly a pair of night vision binoculars that's because until recently they were just too expensive for most hobbyists but recent advancements in technology and research have made night vision more affordable than ever. This is why I highly recommend and use Nightwatch Pros because I'm always keeping an eye out for potential young scholars. Nightwatch Pros are affordable night vision binoculars that allows me to see and record in pitch darkness with predator-like vision. I can use these for watching wildlife, scenic viewing, surveillance, patrol detection, home protection, and much more. These Nightwatch Pros allow night vision recording in ultra 4k hd or highly detailed 36 mp photos plus they feature 5x zoom capabilities anti-shake technology a crystal clear three inch screen and seven level adjustable ir illumination get the night watch pro for a whopping 15 percent off this new year's plus stay secure with a complimentary 100% lifetime guarantee replacement. Gain access to the Preppers Peak exclusive newsletter for weekly life-saving Preppers tips, free express shipping, and much more. Order now before this offer ends by going to nightwatchpro.com. Once again, that's nightwatchpro.com and use promo code 15 off. It started moments before a Wednesday press conference involving the mayors of California's big cities. Governor Gavin Newsom shared an encounter he had with a Target employee after seeing a shoplifter. He's walking out. As we're checking out, the woman says, oh, he's just walking out. He didn't pay for that. I said, well, why are you stopping him? She goes, 
Oh, the governor. Although it's unclear if grand theft would have applied to this situation, Newsom said he told the worker that at $950, California has the 10th toughest threshold in the U.S. for grand theft. She looks at me twice and then she freaks out. She calls everyone over, wants to take photos. I'm like, no, I'm not taking a photo. We're having a conversation. Where's your manager? How are you blaming the governor? And it was, you know, $380 later. And I was like, why am I spending $380? Everyone can walk the hell right out. Yeah, so this guy is like legitimately a psychopath, okay? Because that is psychopathic behavior from a governor. First and foremost, this man is out of touch with the reality of his own state, right? Because apparently he doesn't go and shop at Target too much or he doesn't really watch the news all that often because if he was watching the news, if he actually was going to Target uh, often, then this should not be a surprise to him at all, right? He should not be surprised to see that people are shoplifting in broad daylight, just walking in these stores and just taking things out because it is that prevalent in his state, right? But apparently, uh, he only goes shopping uh, every once in a blue moon, right? And apparently, he went to a Target on some random day, and again, the shoplifting is so pre prevalent in his state that he witnessed it happen right in front of his face. And he's shocked, right? Pikachu face, okay? Gavin Newsom, wait, what, what? How did you just let this guy walk out? Why do you not stop him? Well, Gavin, if you pay attention to the news, you would know that when these employees try to stop shoplifters from just walking out of the store with stuff, um, they get fired, right? They get punished, okay? Um, they can't do that. There's no means of actually stopping these people. Even when these retail stores hire security guards, the security guards really can't do anything, right? They're just there as a deterrent, but the criminals are smart enough to know that the security guards don't have any real legal authority to actually stop any of the criminals, right? So they're just, they're just there, okay? Again, he would know this if he actually watched the news, if he actually was in touch with reality, okay? Uh, again, this is elitism, right? This is elitism right in front of your face, so this psychopath, instead of acting like a governor and addressing this woman's concerns in a way that is respectable, this guy tries to call the manager, right? You're, you're calling the manager. Why? To tattletale on the employee because he's blaming you uh, for uh, the fact that shoplifting is out of control in the state, right? I mean, this person is rightfully blaming the governor. Right. Instead of just taking responsibility like a normal politician and saying, hey, you know what? We're going to try to do better. OK, we're going to try to stop this. I'm going to do everything in my power to stop this type of, uh, you know, crime and theft happening in broad daylight. No, no, no. Where's your manager? This guy is a full blown Karen, a Karen with jail swept locks. That's exactly what he is. OK, because I mean, like this guy probably trying to get the employee in trouble. Probably told the manager, fire this guy. He can't be out here blaming the governor. He can't be blaming me for the shoplifting going on in this store when it's definitely your fault, okay? Because you signed into law Proposition 47 that essentially legalized uh, shoplifting, okay? So with that being said, uh, Gavin Newsom here is really showing the type of person that he really is uh, in this story. It, it, it's really shameful. Chairwoman of the California Republican Party gave a shout out to the worker on X, saying in her post that Newsom and Democrats are to blame for surging crime in the state. According to state data, shoplifting totals in 2022 are higher than 2021 and 2020, but still lower than pre-pandemic levels. Does anybody really believe the uh, state data, California's own data in regards to crime and shoplifting, especially consider how they don't even count a lot of this stuff as crimes anymore? They just stopped counting this stuff. I don't believe it, right? I believe that the shoplifting in California is probably at astronomically high levels. They're not even counting it anymore, okay? So I don't even buy into the propaganda. Nolan Higdon says it's no surprise that as governor, Newsom is taking blame. Newsom has certainly been active in state politics here uh, for years at this point. Um, so he definitely bears some of the responsibility. But you know, a lot of the things that have to do with crime and or the lack of accountability when it comes to crime, uh, these have been structural issues that are that are decades in the making. In a response to ABC7, Newsom's office highlighted his efforts to address crime and improve public safety, including a 310 percent increase in the annual operations to combat organized retail crime. Still, if crime rates go up, Higdon said it might only be more difficult for leaders in a blue state like California to defend their policies. Unlike Yeah, well, here's the thing. The problem is, is that that you can throw money at the problem, but money is not 
the issue. The actual issue is the fact that one, you have a ton of police retiring and it's hard to recruit police because of the defund the police movement. Nobody wants to be a police officer anymore. It's just not a career worth going into. So there's a shortage of police. Uh, also on top of that, you have these soft on crime policies and DAs, like for example, Garscone out there in LA, and then you got Pamela Price out there in Oakland. So when you have these soft on crime DAs, uh, and you also have the police underfunded and understaffed, yeah, that's going to create an environment where criminals are going to thrive. Okay. So again, obviously this is something that, uh, Gavin Newsom is not aware of. Okay. And, uh, it just shows you how out of touch, uh, with reality this guy actually really is. You can, you know, blame Trump or, or blame uh, Mitch McConnell. It's really tough to do that in a state like California. And so Democrats have to own a lot of these problems. And I think that's why you you see him and others kind of struggling to find the right response for how to deal with it. In the South Bay, Zach Fuentes, ABC 7 News. Well, there is no response for it except it's our fault, right? Because it is their fault. OK, so with that being said, uh, there is a new bill that actually would require jail time for repeat retail theft offenders okay so they're actually trying to do something about it uh in regards to getting a little tougher on crime so let's learn about what uh democrats are trying to do to save themselves in an election year and we know retail theft is a big concern across california now a state assembly member has introduced a bill that aims to hold people accountable abc 10's monica coleman that's her story this morning she is at the state capitol and has more for us monica Good morning. If this bill passes, people who carry out and are convicted of retail theft more than once could face jail time. Take a look at this video. We have covered retail theft multiple times in Sacramento and really just across the state, and it is becoming more and more of a problem as the years go on. And flanked by law enforcement officers from around the state, Democratic State Assembly Member James Ramos says it was time to start to hold people accountable for their actions. If approved, store thefts would no longer be process as a misdemeanor with no jail time if a suspect has been convicted of two or more theft related offenses. Punishment could range from six months to three years in county jail. The National Retail Federation says companies lost $112 billion in 2022 due to organized retail crime. Sacramento ranked number seven for worst cities in America when it comes to the issue. Business owners ABC 10 spoke to say they welcome the change in the law. Do something to start to hold people accountable for their actions, especially if it's their third time or fourth time being uh, convicted of retail theft. Prop 47 categorized some nonviolent offenses as misdemeanors rather than felonies. Assemblymember Ramos requested the state auditor to review its effectiveness. That report is due later this year. Meantime, Sacramento County District Attorney will hold a press conference today to talk about retail theft, and we'll be there and bring you the latest as we get it. Back. Yeah, so again, what you have here is Democrats <laughs> trying to all of a sudden get tough old crap. All right, guys, it's election year. It's 2024. Uh, we can't <laughs> continue to have... Uh, these viral videos of criminals uh, robbing stores out of business. And uh, we got to at least act like we're going to get tough on crime, right? So this is what they're doing, okay? They're proposing this bill. Who knows if it will actually pass and get through the woke Democrats uh, in the California government. But um, this is what's happening, right? But Gavin Newsom uh, trying to deflect blame or trying to say that he's not at fault. Again, this is silly. And the fact that he's surprised and shocked to see this happening in his state tells you how out of touch with reality he actually really is. Okay, this is how it is when you are an elitist. Okay, you're rich and you're living among the upper class, the bourgeoisie. Okay, he doesn't deal with peasant problems. Okay, so when he goes and he spends a day as a peasant, right, uh, he sees the problems that the peasants are dealing with. And, uh, you know, he's shocked, right? Outraged that he's being blamed for the problems that the peasants are dealing with, right? Again, it's amazing how that works. But here's what I know. Again, it is an election year. So what you're going to see is Democrats pretend like they want to be tough on crime. But Californians, you have a choice, right? You see what's happening in San Francisco. You see what's happening in Oakland. You see what's happening in Sacramento. You see what's happening in LA, right? Your state is falling apart. Um, do you want to continue down this path or are you going to go in a new direction? Are you going to get rid of some of these woke DAs and some of these woke mayors, these soft on crime Democrats? Or are you going to continue to go down the progressive hellhole? 
right? It's up to you, right? You have the opportunity to vote yourself at least in the right direction. I can't say you can vote yourself out of it, right? Because it's going to take years for California to reverse its decline. But you can take a step in the right direction by making the right choice. Don't let Democrats all of a sudden, uh, you know, trick you into believing that they actually believe in common sense, right? Uh, when it comes to these types of issues, because they all of a sudden are going to want to act like they're not as woke as, you know, they really are when it comes to these issues because it's an election year. Okay. So we'll see, right? California has a big choice in 2024. Are you going to continue to go along with this? Or are you going to actually move in the right direction? We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.